Oh, it's real patriot here. No. Try to, uh, this is like the fifth time I've done it. I'm doing this video mainly because my uh, camera decided to be crappy. Uh, sorry about the mess in the room. It's, it's a work in progress. But I've been off too long and haven't been making videos like I should be. Uh, I'm back. I'm going to try to get more videos uploaded. Today we're talking about Tucker Carlson and why he's losing his mind for candy. Yes, you heard me right. He's losing his mind over candy. But let me show you. I gotta do the transition and boom. Yeah, that's how it starts. <laughs> Until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal. When you're totally turned off, we've achieved equity. They've won. The other big change is that the brown M&M has, quote, transitioned from high stilettos to lower block heels. Also less sexy. That's progress. M&Ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous. Until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal. When you're totally turned off, we've achieved equity. They've won. Transition. Okay. Tucker, who's one? Who? Y y oh man. Why does it matter if candy looks sexy? It's candy. It's chocolate. It's already an aphrodisiac. You don't need to have sexy characters for it. My question is. Why is he truly upset about candy? On candy being sexy? Does he get a little thing for candy? <laughs> My god. Uh, imagine having to put your whole life, putting all this effort into candy not being sexy. No other candy has characters that are sexy. No other candy! And even that, even the M&M's, they weren't that sexy. They were candy. I saw them as candy, not as sexy. And if you need candy to look sexy to have a drink with, uh, you're on something, uh, which he probably is. Uh, you've been a little too much. Uh, it's candy. He has fights with Elmo. Big Bird, and now Candy. I wonder if he was a host during the when Captain Planet 90s, Captain Planet. He'd probably lose his mind about, oh, this is a superhero trying to save the planet. That's an issue. God, it makes no sense that this guy who judges say shouldn't be taken seriously which he shouldn't. He's not a journalist. He's an on-air personality. He's not even a re considered a reporter. He's not a journalist. He's not a reporter. He's an on-air personality. That's it. He's a talk show host. But the worst talk show ever. <laughs> and people think it's news. It's worthy to watch. It's not. Tucker Carlson cannot be taken seriously. He shouldn't... People should not take him seriously. Other than that, he's a threat to the, to the country. Because he is the person, he's a populist. He's a Republican populist, which is what Trump was. And those are the people trying to overturn our election. They are, they want extremists. Extremists is their bread and butter. They can get their extremist base outraged about something. Even something insignificant as an m, &M. But why? I mean, I don't care how much money you make. People like M&M's. People buy M&M's all the time. It's just a fact. That's what happens. And you get people like Tucker who get upset about the littlest change that actually has no effect on that, on him, on the people who buy the candy, on the people who eat the candy. 
no effect. But he wants to make it an issue. Because he's got nothing else. He's got nothing else to talk about, apparently. Why are we listening to this guy? There's no reason to take him seriously at all. I'm going to cut the video here. Uh, he makes me want to go drink something. I might have to go shot, get a shot of whiskey or something. Don't take him seriously. Don't listen to him. Just just leave it be. Just, just, just stop watching him. If you watch him, stop. If you want to see uh, what he said last night or something like that, TYT, uh, YouTube, Facebook, there's going to be plenty of people who's going to show his crap without you having to watch him and give him money to add to his already wealthy self. He's the swan. Swanson uh, heir. You know, there's little cans of uh, uh, turkey broth you buy to pour on your uh, your turkey or your dressing for Thanksgiving and stuff. Yeah, his family. That's his family. I'm going to start using off-brand. <laughs> Just because I don't want to give him any more money. He's got too much power as a he made uh, Ted Cruz bend a knee. What I mean by bend a knee is basically go back on everything he just said about January 6th. I mean, Tucker has way too much power. People have given him too much power. And we have an he's not an elected official. And he has too much power. You shouldn't be giving him this power. We need to take the power from him and uh, put it somewhere else. Someone like me. <laughs> Small YouTuber. Uh, plan maybe one day we'll run for office. I just need to know what people, which people's views are on what subjects and what subjects they more care about than anything else. And that's what I'm going to address. So, stop watching Tucker. He's not worth it. He's not a real journalist so peace out real patriot i'm out